In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a Zigbee no neutral required light switch. And then we're going to set that up in Home Assistant and show you how to add that to the front panel. So we're going to take a traditional light switch shown here and replace it with one of these Zigbee no neutral wire required switches. Now in the UK, you can see on this diagram, this is a basic diagram just showing how most light switches are wired in the UK, where a live comes into the light switch and the actual switch, the light switch then switches the positive coming in to a positive going out, which then goes to the light bulb. The neutral goes directly to the light bulb, doesn't go through the switch at all. So the light switch only has live in and then live out once it's switched. As opposed to this diagram, which shows the live and neutral both going through the light switch, more modern UK installations and most US wiring systems tend to have this. The first thing you need to do is go to your consumer unit, make sure that you switch off the correct breaker so that no power is going through that light switch. And you can test this by going to your light switch, switch it on and off, on and off, and just make sure that there, there's no power going through. Now the light switch we're going to install is this one here. It's a Aquara Smart Wall Switch E1 Zigbee 3.0 Smart Home Wireless Switch with no neutral. They also do a neutral version, but this one is with no neutral wire required. And this particular Aquara one is quite thin, so it should fit in your standard 16mm wall box. At this point, we've obviously turned off our breaker, so all of our ground floor lights are now disabled from power. So we're going to start by unscrewing the traditional light switch here by taking these screws out and then unscrewing the two live terminals there I'm going to screw these screws back in the wall because the new light switch is easier to fit using this method. And now I feel haunted by the ghosts of our past. I wish we were good. I'm lost in emotion, consumed by your love. So we pull the light switch up and plug the wires in. The live coming in goes to L and the live going out goes to L1. tightened and poke the wires in and just position it so the screws go through the holes and then we can tighten the screws back to the wall. Obviously not too tight these are just plastic so you don't want to crack the plastic just tight enough so it doesn't move around. Straighten it up and tighten it a bit more. I'm lost in emotion, consumed by your love. Nice and tight. And then we put the faceplate on, that just snaps into position. And then just test that it's working. And then you can see I've just turned the breaker back on. And you can see the lights have just come on there. Now test the light on off. There are quite a few other Zigbee light switches that you can fit which are slightly deeper for the standard 16mm back box. So you can buy these extenders here and I'll show you another fitting of a light switch that I replaced upstairs where the light switch that I used, the new Zigbee light switch that I used, is slightly too deep for the back box that I've got. So I've used this spacer. So you can see here I've already removed the standard traditional light switch and on goes the spacer. In the live and the switch live. Screw down the screws nice and tight. I wish 
Then position the switch over the holes and screw in the screws. And then tighten the screws. You can see that back plate is uh, doing its job by giving it a bit of room. And then on goes the front plate. So yeah, it depends what type of back box you've got fitted, how deep it is. You can get various different sizes. So these light switch spacers are quite handy. You can get all different shapes and sizes and you can see this one doesn't fit exactly, but it's good enough. So now you've got your light switch fitted and we need to add it to Zigbee 2 MQTT. So how we do that is we hold down the light switch hear it click and then the blue lights will start flashing there you can see the blue lights flashing now now that's in pairing mode so over to Zigbee 2 MQTT and we put it into pairing mode so permit join all you see it starts counting down there and it should pick up the new light switch which is in pairing mode there it is it's found a new device successfully interviewed and successfully configured we scroll down to find the new randomly named device this is it here and we click on rename and choose a nice friendly name for it in this instance it's my office lights and update home assistant entity id and back to here edit the dashboard and we're going to add it into my lights panel search for office light and that's the one there select that save and you can turn the light on and turn them off and it's also configurable via Alexa Alexa turn on the office lights okay Alexa turn off the office lights okay Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, we've taken you through how to install a Zigbee no neutral light switch, and replace it with a traditional one. Um, we've used a thin version and a thick version with a spacer plate and configured it in Home Assistant. So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks very much.